Good afternoon, everyone. Hello, it's Liz Yule from Old Staples Crafts here for some more crafting live. And we're looking at the host stamp set for celebration today, the perfect pomegranates. Um, I found out a few things about pomegranates, just saying. Um, so, yes, first thing you need to do is work out what colour a pomegranate is. Not convinced I've got it quite right yet, but we'll give it a go. And of course, this is the moment I realise I've not put any makeup on. So I'm looking particularly G.I. Jane today. Apologies. Um, anywho, let's just check we're live. We are. Some of you may have seen my post on Instagram saying that I was going live in two hours, which I posted two hours ago, which was miraculous. Anyway, as you join, do let me know that where you are joining from, where in the world. Um, the usual South Oxfordshire weather forecast is it's overcast. Um, hello, Nora. Hello, Sherry from a sunny Oregon. Pardon me, sunny Oregon. It's overcast here. Although my weather forecast on my laptop tells me it's 24 degrees and sunny. I think it's 24 degrees. It's not sunny. Just saying. Um, right. Just to get some of the housekeeping dealt with. So my name's Liz Ewell. I um, work as Old Stables Crafts. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the UK, working across the UK, France, Germany, Austria and the Netherlands. And very soon, yay, Ireland and Belgium. Still don't have any dates for that yet, but hello, Karen from Hampshire and Suzanne from a hot Washington. I'm guessing state, not D.C. Um, although if you're from Washington state, you're north and very west. So I would say that, yeah, that's maybe not normal. I don't know. I've never been to Washington state, so I can't comment really. Um, anyway, I am an independent stamping up demonstrator. Um, it is my job. Yeah, and I'm so lucky that it is my job. Um, it is celebration time. So celebration is when for every 50 pounds, sorry, 45 pounds or 120. No. Oh dear. 45 pounds or 60 euros. I have to work in two currencies. Um, you get to choose a free item from Celebration. Uh, and where have I put my Celebration catalogue? There it, no, that's not my Celebration. There it is. I printed it off in big so I could find it. So what's happening? I can't find it. Um, hello, Wendy. Hello, B. So if you spend oh, £275 or €375, Euros, um, or whatever in your currency, um, you get to choose the, well, you don't get to choose, you automatically get the perfect pomegranate stamp set. Hello, Deborah from Michigan. Hello, Pam. Hello, Sharon from South Australia. Um, so yes, this is a free item. Um, the normal items are for every 45 pounds or 60 euros, you choose a level one for a 90 pound or 120 euro spend you can choose either two level one or one level two item um so great time to shop uh if you are putting in a big order please 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 consider joining and then you get the amazing planner which comes with three notebooks and a stamp set just saying um, so yes, and I've got team across Europe and across the UK. So yee, you'd be very welcome if you are in one of those regions. Right. Too much blether. Let's get on. So let's flip down. Now, if you are watching on replay, welcome. As someone I follow says, welcome from Tomorrowland. Uh, you can still leave a comment. Just leave those in the description bar uh, below the description bar. And I will get back to you at some point, hopefully soon. Hello, Linda from Melbourne. Um, but yes, so if you're watching the replay and it will say replay in the heading 
and you won't find the live button, um, then do leave a comment. Um, just bear in mind that I won't know when during the video you left it. So some clues are always nice. Actually, I'm not going to start with that. I'm just going to show you it. So we've, it's, it is um, obviously photopolymer. It's a two-step stamp set, although it doesn't claim that it is, but it is a two-step because that goes in there. Maybe that's the only bit that's... Oh, no, that goes in there. But those go in there. Anyway, it's a two-step stamp set, as far as I'm concerned. Hello, Selena from Canada. Um, but I've got a fancy fold that I have prepped a bit um, that I want to show you because it's quite an easy one, but it is quite lovely. So you need to start with a square of card. A square of card that is easily divisible by three is an advantage. So for those of us outside North America, 21 centimetres is the width of our card. So cut it down to 21 centimetres square and you have something divisible by three. Um, for those of you in North America, eight and a half by 11. Good luck. Um, not quite sure what I would recommend, frankly. Um, for a, once, I'm bringing out the uh, the metric. That's the word I'm looking for. Scoreboard. So it's just a piece that you put into your normal scoreboard, uh, but it does mean you've then got centimeters, not inches. You can do this on your trimmer as well, so don't worry about that. It can be done on the trimmer. Uh, right, so just want to check one thing. Yeah, it is. I wasn't sure where that is. So with your, doesn't matter whether it's your 21 or your 21 at the top, we want to score. Now this is where it gets slightly complicated. We, no, it doesn't. What am I saying? No, it doesn't get complicated. So we're going to score at seven centimeters. I have to say, I've not actually made this card yet. I know roughly what it's meant to look like, but other than that, so we're scoring at seven and we're scoring again at seven. And those are our main score lines. Um, and then we're going to fold those like that. But this piece here, uh, I just need to make sure that I'm in camera. Um, this piece here, I am, um, is going to end up coming down here. So what we need to do is we need to do, as well as this bit, we need some diagonals. So what we want is, so this is going to as I fold down to there. So we're going to go from there to somewhere down here on the diagonal. So what you want to do is line up so you can see where 14 is and sort of guide yourself down. You don't really want to press too hard until you get to the line. And then you want to do exactly the same. It doesn't matter whether you do seven or 14. I'm going to go seven this time and do a little divot. Now you can just use a ruler. So let's just check that those are correct. So I want to be seven centimeters up and I am, and I want to be seven across. Right, so we're then going to do a diagonal. So what you want to do is find a line and just do your diagonal. Whoops, preferably without. Oh no, that's wrong. <laughs> Don't do it like that. Don't do it like that. Don't you love that I'm happy to go wrong? I'm actually going to use my trimmer for this bit because it will be easier. Let's pop that back. You get the warts and all with me. So let's get rid of the blade because that would be, it's one of those days where the blade is going to go wrong. So just line up your, I wanted my bone for my thingy. Oh. I wanted my one of these. Right, so I'm going to line up my, that, and I do know I've got to shut the lid but I can feel that that's kind of vaguely in place and there I can see it and I've got it on the fold line at the top 
so I can push. Now you could just use your scoring blade, but you know, it doesn't, this piece actually is going to be hidden just as well. Um, and then we're going to do the same thing. Woo! Is that right? As I said, I haven't actually done this before. I've done it the wrong way. I have. I've done it the wrong way. I want to go that way, which is much easier because then you don't have to do that whole measuring bit. So, I still want to know where the middle is. And I still want to know where my end point is, which is there. So, this is this is how not to do it. So, we're going to go from there up. And in fact, we can then just go, hopefully, straight across. Yes, we can. Because it's all going to be on the diagonal. I had to make it difficult, didn't I? So that's better. That's better. -er. <sighs> she says, with a certain amount of hope. So that's going to go in. That's going to go down. It's working. That's going to go in. That's going to go down. That's what I wanted. Dear Lord, could I have made that any more difficult? I feel I'm going to have to get out another piece of card and go through that again so as not to confuse you. Hello, Brenton. You've joined me just as everything's just about coming back on track. Um, <laughs> anyway, so that's the shape we're looking at. So what we've done with our divisible by three square, 21 centimetres, we've scored at seven and seven on adjoining corners. We've then simply ignore pretty much everything. We've measured to 14 and to 14 and we've joined the two together through the middle there. That's all we've done. All that other stuff that I did was so wrong. Hello, Gwen from New North Carolina. So this is the card that we're going to be making and it will stand perfectly happily. I have already cut, you'll be delighted to hear, one less thing to go wrong, um, a square of whisper white, no, basic white, that is 13 and a half centimetres square. So that's going to go in there, that's going to be our inside. And then I've also got, so I'm treading on my scoreboard, in Poppy Parade, yes, I know, um, these are six and a half centimetres square, and then in white again, six centimetres square. So I'm kind of getting back on track. So these are going to go, now I've done four, because I quite like the idea of covering up that corner and then coming back in with a square. I will see what it looks like before we go nap because it's going to end up with the inside looking like that. And I'm not quite sure that I'm going to like that. But what I am going to do now is decorate the four, four um, bits of basic white with the stamp set. So here is our stamp set again. And I think I managed to work out the big pomegranate definitely fits. And I think we can just about fit that on as well. Don't you love it when things actually work as opposed to not? Now I want to kind of avoid the flowers for the moment because I want those to be on the next card. Now nah, might as well do them on this. So let's throw them in on this as well. So will that fit? Yes. Right. Okay. So we're going to do um, one with just leaves, one with leaves and a flower, two pomegranates, one pomegranate. So the two pomegranates are probably the easiest. So let's start with those and I only say that because they don't really need too much mucking about with so I'm going to grab a D block this is the first time I've used the stamps so I'm going to rub them on my hand 
and I'm going to grab some rich raspberry. And ink up my stamp. Now it is one of those distinctive stamps. And I'm actually just going to grab a scrap of paper and just make sure that it is stamping correctly as I'm expecting it to because as I say I haven't stamped this yet I know it's frightening isn't it and it does it stamps beautifully apart from where it's got a little smit uh, where's my take your pick buried there it is there's a little smit just there don't know what that was but anyway it stamps really nicely so let's ink it up again it's going to stain the stamps beautifully just saying <clears throat> let's go in the middle now I have got a bit of silicon mat below my grid paper uh, but if you find that you don't get a very good image, um, what you want is the piercing mat below, so it's got a bit of bunge, um, because the photopolymer is fairly hard. Uh, I'm not going to bother cleaning it at this stage, because let's face it, it's going to be stained. So I've just realised I've left a blade lying around. Uh, right, so this is not technically correct, but... I'm going for it anyway because it's my pomegranate uh, so I'm going to grab my seeds pips whatever you want to call them and ink up with poppy parade and stamp now I can't decide whether poppy parade or melon mambo is a better color I think poppy parade is the right color but and I'm not convinced that rich raspberry on its own is the right colour, but that's fine because we're going to do something about that. So I am now actually going to clean my stamps because I need the blocks back. Spray. I can tell you're all waiting for me to go wrong again. That's why you're being quiet. And as I said, Beautifully stained. Rich Raspberry and Blackberry Bliss are two of the best staining colours that we have. Second, probably only to Night of Navy. Even Poppy Parade is a better, a better red from that point of view. Right, so let's pop that back and that back and grab our big pomegranate. And again, I haven't stamped with it before, so I'm going to rub my hand on it. And this one, I'm going to be doing a bit more exciting stuff with. So this is going to be nearer to an actual um, pomegranate in its result, I hope. And if you think I haven't got pictures of the pomegranates showing, you've got another thing coming. They do come in a whole range of colours, um, depending on, I think, just their particular species. I mean, not species, they're all pomegranates, but which particular one you've got. I'm blethering again. Um, right, I want, I want, I want, are they in there? Are you in there? No, I want my little tweezers that stop me getting mucky fingers. There they are. So I want rich raspberry. That's crumb cake. Let's let's look in the regals, shall we? Rich ras no blackberry bliss. Rich raspberry, and poppy parade is that one. I don't think I have, Pam. Does anyone else think I've frozen? Because I've got a good connection. Can you tell me if you think I've frozen? OK, 
Can any, is anyone else having a problem? Be really, really good to know. Have I frozen? I'm going to, you know, not just, just not freeze. Thank you, Sherry. <laughs> I was panicking there for a moment. Pam, you... Pam, I think you may need to drop out and rejoin because everybody else seems to think everything's okay, apart from the fact that I'm, you know, generally making a mess of what's going on. Uh, right, okay, so pomegranates are a really odd colour. Um, thank you. So, yes, it sounds to me, Pam, like you've got... It's, it's a problem at your end, not at mine. Rich Razzleberry and a thing. So, I want a reasonable amount of Rich Razzleberry. Because... Although there is some red in a pomegranate, it's mostly not, if that makes sense. I'm going to be much gentler on the edges. And then, right. So let's see what's going on. I need another of my little squares. I'm going to have that at a bit of a jaunty angle and press. Now the bigger the... Good, thank you Pam. Thank you everyone for letting me know. I know I'm being a ventriloquist, Wendy. It's, um, it's YouTube Live. So there we go. Um, I watch quite a few live recorded but live videos and everyone seems to have the same problem that there's a slight out of sync. The easy resu resolution to that is for me to not have my head in the picture because um, then you wouldn't know. But yeah. So there's my pomegranate. It's I probably need a bit more poppy parade around there, but I'm I'm good. I'm not going to redo it. You'll be delighted to hear. Right. So I am going to clean that. But yeah, I don't know what the problem is with the delay on the um, speech. But hey, it's, as I say, it's not just me. Um, I don't know if it's YouTube software, whether it's the software that I use to stream into YouTube. Um, but I'm not the only problem that has it. So it makes, uh, who has it? It makes me feel that it's probably a YouTube issue not a not a my software issue so i've got the flower and the double leaves and smit everywhere so let's grab a c block whoops and and a b block and again i'm just going to let's try that again um Hello, Lisa from South Australia. So I'm just getting that film thing off. Now, Calypso Coral. And I'm thinking, actually, although I have brought out Poppy Parade again, it's almost like... Mm, no, I'm going to stick with Poppy Braid. Right, so Calypso Coral for... Oh, I'm going to be picky. Um, oh, I'm going to throw some ink pads around as well. So Granny Apple Green for my leaves. Let's do those first. So we've got those established. That's the easy stamping. And then I'm going to add little bit of granny apple green there. I'm going to have to do some huffing along the way. Not as in going into a huff. Uh, maybe mine is always out of sync and it's always only YouTube. Yeah, um, YouTube Live has got some issue with it. Hello, Elfie from Ontario. 
10.30 in the morning. Uh, it's half past three, yes. You just ignore it. Well, as I say, if I, if I went for no face and just did my hands, um, then you wouldn't know other than when I'm face on. So, yeah. Right, so I'm going to ink up the whole thing in Calypso Coral and then put my hand on it. That was going to happen. And then I'm going to grab my Poppy Parade dauber and just come in at the bottom here with maybe just a little bit around the edges and give it a bit of a huff huff and a puff and I'll blow your house down sorry I don't know where that came from and we have our it's not quite as calypso coral as I was hoping but it's about right so that's good that's coming on nicely now that that's drying back pleased with that the original those are a little dark there I'm almost tempted to turn it over and do the other side but we'll see right okay so the question's going to be do I want I think I do want a third a fourth simply because um, otherwise it's going to look odd if someone writes in that bottom corner I could just go for that though, couldn't I? I might just go for that. Thank you, Pam. That's very kind. Uh, right, I'm going to go for Rich Razzleberry and the Splatters. I washed these. And they're all dirty again. It's like you know, they're not supposed to get dirty once you've used them once. You'll be delighted to know that the, bearing in mind I said this was going to be a simple fancy fold and I made a complete cod of it from the word go. Um, you'll be delighted to know that the other one is easier. She says, famous last words. Dear Lord, why did I say that? Right. So this, I'm just going to stamp. So I'm just going to fill this with this. Yeah, just like that. So it's just filled. It's nothing more exciting than that. Thank you, Elfie. That's that's useful to know. I can't actually remember the last time I saw a pomegranate. I mean, I like pomegranates. I mean, I like dishes with pomegranate in, I think is probably the better thing to say. I don't, they're not exactly the sort of fruit you want to eat just as a fruit, because all those seeds. these cleaned and then we can put it together because this is basically it so once you've done your stamping and your fancy fold it's it is really quick to put together so the first thing I need is that square of card that I've now buried under things so this is going to go in there but actually the first thing I'm going to do is put my poppy parade in place because then I know it's in place which I know sounds odd but you know rather than doing it in the card need to get a new pot out now I'll rephrase that need to pick up the new pot that I've got out come on just give me enough for this piece of card then I'll throw you in the bin this has been upside down for about two hours. There is a limit whoops, to how long I'm prepared to leave glue to dribble down. And we have hit that limit. 
So this, because it's liquid glue, it's going to be reasonably easy to slide into place. So that will... No, that is right. I, I hesitated there for a moment. It is what I'm looking for because I want this to look like these squares. I had a bit of a, bit of a moment there from a, from a messy eating, but apparently very healthy. Are they? Good. Right, so this is just going to have that there, and I may put a sentiment there. I may get out those lovely um, die-cut sentiments that are so easy to do because they're, they've got dies. Charming sentiments. Is it charming? Are they charming? I think they're charming those anyway so yes yeah, so I may use this just as a background with the sentiment on top so let's just add these don't actually need them to have adhesive all the way round I know I shouldn't say this, but I'm really pleased with that one. The colours are just how I hoped they would be. Yeah, the seeds are a bit... We do a slow-cooked lamb, which you put pomegranate juice and seeds into. It's a... Uh, I think it's a Nigella Lawson recipe um, and it's a sh it's a shoulder of lamb so it's one of the less expensive cuts um, and you cook it for hours and when you finish cooking it you put pomegranate in it you can if you want use uh, lemon juice instead if you can't get a hold of pomegranate but um, I'm thinking Um, but yes, and that, for some reason, the, the seeds aren't quite as prominent. I mean, they're still there, but I suppose because you're eating it as a savoury, they don't seem quite as in your face. Don't know. Anywho. One. Oh, I think I'm underneath the, I think I'm underneath my head. That's really not a good idea. Let's not be underneath our heads, shall we? And then this one, and then I just need to pop the white in. And we are done after our slightly false start. If you've known, if you've watched me for any length of time, you will know that I really think. So we've got lots of real estate for writing. It will stand on your desk. Now, now I had a froze. Love the Aussie coloured nails. They are, aren't they? I hadn't realised they were Aussie coloured. So I did have a bit of a whirl there for a moment. So if you've got a whirl, that will be why. Um, but yes, so you can put a sentiment there. I'm going to do the second card and see where we come to because um, again I haven't tried the second card but it looks pretty easy so famous last words right I have a half sheet of A4 short and fat not long and thin um, and my trimmer and I am going to score let's actually put my cutting blade back in I'm going to score at I wrote it down three centimeters sorry I had a moment there non sounding question how did the continents do in the heat wave I'm glad you like the fancy field they were not 
happy, but they're okay. They, they survived. So three centimeters and 13 and a half. And I'm hoping, no, no. And 13 and a half. So three centimeters, 13 and a half centimeters. Keeping your fingers crossed that I've got the maths right. <sighs> Just saying. Feel sorry for my team. It's our team retreat this weekend. Sorry, ladies. Could be interesting. I've nearly finished the filming. Uh, we do a virtual retreat. So for the... Um, for the demonstrations, I record them just in case I have a problem with my Wi-Fi so that at least they've got me recorded, if not in person. Oh, the maths was right. So this is our next fancy fold. How easy is that? I know. Right. OK, so I need some basic white because I've got to do some stamping. So we have got this, we're going to get a ruler out. We're going to do maths. So this is, helps if you have the right end of your ruler. That is seven and a half centimetres. So I'm going to cut this at seven centimetres by 14.2. Might be wrong. Might not be right, just saying. Seven. By 14.2. I'm going to cut it and then see how we do. One day I might actually prep. Pam, has your box arrived? It's right. It's right. Um, it would be nice to know if your box has arrived. It should have arrived. Right, so the other piece is going to be um, two and a half by whatever this was, 14.2. Two and a half. This is not the best way of using your card. Two and a half by 14.2. So this is going to go down there. And this is going to go on there, and they are the same length. Yep. Um, and then I need a liner, and I'm going to revert to inches because I can do inches. So three and three, uh, three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. Yesterday, good. The one in Germany is sitting, waiting to move out of Frankfurt, which is slightly concerning me, but you know. Right, OK, I will be adding another colour. haven't decided which yet, but I will be. I need my scrap because we are going to be going off the edge. So the big leaves, which hopefully, yes, will fit on a D block and the flower are what I need for this and again we may do some splats down the side so we're going to have that up in the top right corner oh I might put some more pomegranates on I didn't prep this I've just realized fingers crossed everyone Deliberately going off the edge, just saying. Phew, that worked. I might actually go up and down. Who says pomegranates can't grow up? It's my card. They're going to grow in whatever direction I want them to. Okay. I'm going to bring in... I think I'm going to bring in Daffodil Delight to bring a bit more yellow in. So I want 
because they were a little bit too orange for my liking. Customs isn't the problem. Um, it's cleared customs, cleared customs on Friday. It's just been sitting waiting to leave Frankfurt, Frankfurt, which is where customs are. That's not the one I wanted. Um, since Friday. Now I was also sending crushed curry, wrong lot, uh, subtles. I was also sending calypso coral. Thank you. Um, a parcel to a customer in the Netherlands took until yesterday to get through customs, but now that it's through customs, it's being delivered today. So, you know, you just can't, it's, yeah. But apparently there are delays with German post at the moment. Um, so it would seem that it's just got caught up in that. So instead of Poppy Parade, I'm using Calypso Coral. Because the, the Calypso Coral Poppy Parade didn't come out quite right. sure I like that stalk. So I'm just going to get, it is biodegradable, I know biodegradable is, you know, not necessarily biodegradable, but it is as near as you can get to biodegradable. So I'm going to just add the flowers to the end of the stalk that's already there. That's better! Now, between, don't need that, between stamps, you do need to uh, clean because you've got more than one colour on your stamp, just saying. However, now that I don't need to worry about the, that would have been better if I'd have gone off the edge of the thing, um, Clips of Coral. I don't need to worry about the stalk so much now. I don't want them to all look the same. Let's get that out of harm's way. I am liking how this is coming together. So coral, I can feel a reel coming on. I think this would be fun on a reel. <clears throat> Thank you, Pam. It's the joy of photopolymer stamps. Because you can see through them. So there are, aren't they pretty? I know I shouldn't say that, but it's the stamp that's made them pretty. Pretty. Right. Okay. So I. Where's my piece? There's my piece. Couldn't see it for looking. So this piece, I think I'm just going to stamp with the large leaf purely because it's quick. Because it is a quarter to four. Right, okay, so I do want mats, and I'm, so it's Calypso Coral, 
I think I'm going to go, it's either got to be Daffodil Delight or Granny Apple Green. So let's have a look. Granny Apple Green or Daffodil Delight. Oh, I'm going to go Daffodil Delight. Decision made. Are those pieces going to be long enough? Nope. That will be for one. No, no I'm going to have to use... This is not a full sheet, just saying. So before you get worried that I'm about to cut into a full sheet. I'm not. Right, so that there is a bit of a margin, um, just to remind myself as much as anyone, this is 14.2. This is a bit bigger than that, 14.7. I might actually... Hmm. 40.7, 14.2, which is half a centimetre. Right, so I need a quarter of a centimetre difference. So 14.2 plus 2.5 is 14.5-ish. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. 14.5-ish. Yeah, and I know I'm doing... No, it's not that one. It's that way. 14.5 ish and then is that going to be just want to check this before I yep so 14.5 and this was what seven point no six and a half I think where's my ruler there's my ruler no it was seven so I want seven and a quarter seven and a quarter and this was two and a half, so two and three quarters. Right. Okay. If you're wondering why I keep doing that, it's because my trimmer lives underneath my desk. Um, I need that piece. Where did I put? Oh, under my ruler. Couldn't find it. Um, so yes, it lives under my desk. So I have to step back in order to get it under my desk. You're frozen, are you, Elfie? I'm not at the moment. I was. Again, can we can we just check whether we're all frozen, please? Thank you, Lisa. Right, I'm going to put it this way up purely because there's a very, very small bit of white there, um, which is annoying me just very slightly. Pam's all right. And Brenton's all right. Good. Sorry, Elfie. Hope you, hopefully you get back soon. So this has got the narrowest margin. Fine with Janice. I mean, I don't know what I would do if you weren't all fine, frankly. Because there's only certain things I can do while I'm, yeah. Right, so this is the liner. And 
and then we are done. Phew! Got through it eventually. So there we are. This one clearly is easier than this one. This one would be easy if you practiced first. <laughs> Hello, Brenda. Good. Glad you're fine. <sighs> anyway, so bear in mind that this is all about pomegranates. It doesn't have to be because that wouldn't shout pomegranates. So if you have got a larger order, you're going to get this anyway, whether you want it or not. But there's a few ideas. Oh, it sort of does, doesn't it? That is fluke, to be honest, Linda. Thank you, Pam. So, yeah, that one, that one without the extra score lines is, is nice. It sits like that. Um, and this one obviously just sits like that. So let me flip the camera up, which I can't do with my stamping seal. Thank you, Suzanne. Yeah, the, the stamping was all right. Not so sure about the, about the measuring. I've got my mouse back. Let me flip the camera back up. Come in, Houston. So thank you very much. If you've enjoyed it, thumbs up are always appreciated. Thank you, Nora. Um, if you don't already subscribe, please, please subscribe. For some reason, I'm losing subscribers. I don't know why, but I am. Um, when I hit 10,000, you know, it's two steps forward, one step back at the moment. Um, there will be a giveaway. Just saying. And it will be one that is within stamping out policy and yet could cover any country in the world. Just saying. Um, so, thumbs up are always great. If you're watching on the replay and you've got any questions, please ask those in the area below the description bar. I will be back recorded at eight o'clock on Saturday morning. I will then be back recorded at eight o'clock on Tuesday morning. So Saturday is Simple Stamping Saturday. Tuesday is Top Tip Tuesday. Don't actually know what that's going to be yet, but I have some things brewing. Um, and then I'll be back again live next Tuesday at 11 o'clock in the morning UK time. Next Thursday, I may or may not be going live because I have got something that I may go to that happens to coincide. Um, but if I'm not live, I will make sure there's a video. Thank you, Brenton. Um, so, yes, have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you very much indeed for joining me today. Do remember if you're in the UK or any of the European countries that we currently have, which is France, Germany, Austria and the Netherlands, if you need any stamping up project products, I would be thrilled if you would choose to shop with me. I am hoping to get on the incented trip, but it's looking dubious. Um, I have a long way to go. <coughs> anyway, have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you again very soon, I hope. Bye-bye.